Where's the camera? Oh. Welcome to Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live. Tell us about your weekend plans in the comments field below. Like, share, and follow at hashtag Jay Moore Weekend. I'm Amanda. I have a special guest with me today. This is Micah Wood. Or Micah E. Wood. Yeah. Because there's probably like a Micah L. Wood running around trying to be yeah, trying yeah, to be yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That's no, a no, problem, no. right? E. Wood. That's me. Well, yeah, why? But why? Do you get mad if someone leaves out the E? Uh, No, it's fine. Because I feel like sometimes I casually just drop it. There's like um, a YouTuber that some pastor that yells about things I don't approve of. Uh, that is Micah Wood. Oh, uh-huh. aha! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I figured there had to be a reason. Mm-hmm. Well, plus Mike E. Wood has a weird long ring to it. It's good. It's it <laughs> does flow well. Yeah. And for the purposes of this interview, I'm going to be Amanda B. Krotky. Yeah. Okay? You know. All right. So welcome back, Micah E. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. What's new? I think you have something you're celebrating this week. Uh. Yeah. So today my album came out. Uh. It is. Um something I've been working on for two years. It's available on a physical disc right here. Right here. I've got uh, it in my hands. Hot. ten doll hot. hairs. Cheap. Yeah. Bargain for how many songs? One, two, three, four. Twelve four, songs. Three. Whoa. That's, that's less, less than, than a dollar, a dollar a song. song. <laughs> you know, that's cheaper than iTunes right there. Right there. Um, and you can get that CD at Soundgarden. <gasps> or, Love it. Or uh, Get Shredded Vintage. Uh-huh. Which is awesome if you haven't been there, if you like vintage clothes. And at my record release show tonight. Okay, let's talk about this record release show tonight. Where? Who? What? It is at the Charmery Ice Cream Factory. Yummy. It is down at, the street. Yeah, down the street. Yeah, so not the one on the avenue. No. Nope. The one inside the Union Collective. Right. Bigger, more room, more activity. Cooler, hipper. Cooler, hipper, closer to beer. Happening for, near. For beer people. Um, <laughs> it is Friday. It is Friday. So if you're feeling like ice cream doesn't do enough for you emotionally, there is beer. Yeah, um, that's good. But you can also have it all. Um, and who's playing? It is with uh, Super City. Love it. Love them. Local rockers. They dance. They play guitar. They sing. They do it all. Uh, out calls, which is like if two operatic singers decided... What would it sound like if we made pop music? And they do. Yes. I and, like Out Calls. Uh, Al Rogers Jr., which is, you know, he's soul, he's rap, he sings. He's he's the closest thing we've got to our own Andre 3000. Nice. It's amazing. Um, DJ Lockspice, who I once saw blend from a Fall Out Boy song to an Outcast song. And that's exactly my vibe. That's Some skills. Just, uh, that's Those are mad skills right there. And then I have a live band, uh, which is members of Super City, Natural Velvet, Lush Pockets. It's a little Baltimore... Um, Primo. Little, yeah. Prim- little gang. The right cream there. of the Baltimore crop right there. The ice cream of the Baltimore crop. Ah, crop. nice. I like what you did there. So let's talk about this little ice cream situation uh, here. yes. Did they make you your own flavor? They did, yeah. Damn you! And... What? I, ha- I haven't even tried it, so... Oh, well, Could be terrible. Well, what is it? Well, so... There's a lot of flavors I thought about, but I decided I wanted my flavor to be able to be eaten from by basically everyone. Some people are allergic to coconut, and to you I say I'm sorry. <laughs> but it is uh, non-dairy. It's ginger, lemon, Ooh, coconut milk. Refreshing. Yeah. So it's like little spiced, you know, not spicy. Ginger's like, it's, it's a, you know. It's and what is this, what is the name of this flavor? It's called self-titled. Because oh, the album good. is self-titled. That's nice. And it should be uh, yummy. They just finished it up. It I'm going to try it in would. a few hours. Um, but yeah, your ticket for the show is $10, and it comes with a scoop of ice cream. And you can either get the ice cream that I uh, picked the flavor from that they made curated. for me. You curated uh, I curated an ice cream. the ice cream flavor, yeah. yes. Or you can get one of the other like 10 flavors they have available, including real dairy ones if you're not on the vegan ice cream train. Right. But they, ha- they do have a lot of, do they have a lot of vegan-ish? Stuff? They usually have two. I think they'll have uh, three okay. tonight. Okay. And then like yours. ten regular ice cream. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charmery, are you watching? If you're watching, Jay Moore needs a flavor. Like, Ooh. what is up? We sh- we need to sit down and talk. And anyone else who's watching, what do you think our flavor is going to be? I want some Jay Moore flavor. Jay Moore flavor. What is it? What's it going to be? Jay Ooh. cream. I don't know, but it's got to be blue. You it's got to be blue. It's I don't know. I don't know what's in there. Horse mm. rat, not pickle. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. It's got to be blue, but also like kind of have a flavor of guilt, you know? <laughs> you got to feel really, well, it could just be like a The flavor like has to make you feel like you have to call your mother. Yes. 
Right. You you got to feel so naughty after you yeah. ate this Jay Moore flavor. Charmory. It's got to be, if anything, too good. I love it. Because if anything's too good in, in life, I, you feel... I got to call mom. What is my mother up to? All right. Speaking of mothers, we're, I'm not seeing yours. She's in town. So, Eileen. You know, she might not be, you know... Let's do this. Watch the, us. At, All right. Let's handle. get back to this, baby. Yeah. So, oh, wait. What time? Did you say what time the show is? Show is at 9 p.m. And how can people get tickets? Uh, either on, uh, if you go to the Facebook page, uh, it's Mikey E. Wood album release show. You can get tickets there or at the door. Okay. They're the same price at the door. Okay, that's fair. You'll be fine. It's yes. a big space. It's a good space. Go to the show. Support local music. So stay right here. Is mm-hmm. that the single? Yep. Okay. Tell us what we need to know about Josh Stokes. It features Josh Ooh, Stokes. Josh Stokes is like a lo-fi funk artist from Baltimore. He... I met him a few years ago because he DJs uh, for Easy Jackson. He drums for Abdul Ali. He's a man, is a man of the town. But he his voice is something like no other. It's it's like raspy, but it's smooth, mm. you know? It's like certain moments, at least on this track, it sounds like John Legend, but if he was raspier. Got it. Yeah, I can so picture somehow this. it can have gravel, but still hit every note so silky smooth. <laughs> I feel like you kind of sound that way at the moment. <laughs> a little yeah. gravelly, silky smooth. I'm leaning in. So it. for people who have not become familiar or mm-hmm. acquainted with your music stylings, mm-hmm. what? how do you describe your music? I don't know, but other people describe it as uh, <laughs> like electro pop. You know, like sure. in the past, I've probably made like sad ballads. I would say there's probably like two sad ballads on this album, but it is a bunch of very personal songs and feelings that I think you could relate to if you mm-hmm. listen to them um but they're all generally upbeat poppy so a little choruses. bit pop yeah a little bit rock a little bit pop a little, little bit, bit rock. soul yep all rock sure. what else you got going on no not so no, much that's about those, so that's mean, it those are the little, mains a little bit of hip-hop but don't worry i don't do any of the rapping <laughs> we're not we, we weren't we weren't really worried about that yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't think we were most of us weren't i'll leave that to modest yahoo <laughs> Oh, come on. If we're going to talk about Jewish rappers, let's just shout out to the Beasties because... No, I know. Come on. Come on. Beastie Boys are amazing. Right. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Must we don't have to talk about the other smart. stuff. He's no. Smart. That's a sh- gimmick. It's a shtick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, I watched your video <laughs> for Stay Right Here. <coughs> yeah. So, why, what? Is that your regular low-impact aerobic class that you attend? <laughs> What's going on there? Is that my... I love uh, that whole sentence. You, um... <laughs> So, yeah, like a year ago, maybe less, I decided to start getting healthy. And one of the biggest parts for me about health and cooking for myself and getting healthy is figuring out how to be okay with being uncomfortable. Uh huh. Working out is weird, especially when you don't know it is weird. what you're doing. It's intimidating. Yeah, it's intimidating. Working out in a group class, super intimidating, weird. I think everyone's judging you. Turns out everyone's trying not to be judged. So everyone's kind of focusing on their own. Yeah, they're thing. not looking at you. No one's looking at you. No. And so the best way to do the most and look the weirdest while no one is looking at you is Zumba. Um, I am so horrible at zumba My hips don't move oh, in those I'm terrible directions. At, uh, you can see in the video, I'm very bad. So every weekend I do <laughs> cycling and Zumba. <laughs> and then during the weeks I run and do like weights and stuff like that. But um, weekdays are for the tough stuff. Let's the see Let's see fun. a Zumba move from this, got, from this part up. You got anything? Come on. I don't think I have anything. The, you know, need the like, hips, right? You, you need the hips, but it's also like a lot of like one, two, like it's halfway over and then you go over. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so like, were you always like on the other side of the, the room that everyone else was going to? Like if they all went this way, were you going that way? Oh, yeah. 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 Almost never. In I sync. do that, too. I totally and, do that. Uh, one of my friends that was in the class with me right when I first started then became a Zumba instructor. So when that happened, I was like, it's happening. So I hired her to be my Zoom instructor and to like teach this fake class and then brought in a bunch of, you know, yeah. happy go lucky. It was it, I smiled. Yeah. Hey, good. hold that thought for a second. If you just got here, you're watching Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live. Like, comment, and share. I'm here with musician Micah Ewood, whose re- whose new release Stay Right Here is out today and the whole, whole album. album. Yeah, whole album's the whole out, album. Yeah. I don't know why I was focusing on stay right here. The whole album. The whole damn thing right here. Um today. so you mentioned being happy 
I think uh-huh. I saw some posts about how you're you're uh-huh. you're not sad or something. What's mm-hmm. what's going on? Is this a departure for you? You think? Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, one, I brought in a lot of like real instruments, and I wanted to create like a full band sound. So it's like uh, my friend who helped do some production on it described it as like the Nine Inch Nails makes a pop record approach. <laughs> You know, like Nine Inch Nails always um, have real drums buried under their digital drums. Yeah. So it's that. Okay. It's Nine Inch Nails making a pop record. But um, yeah, I, I'm i generally happy. Yeah. I um, I took on seasonal depression head on by going to the gym. I got seasonally depressed this year. I think it was just a super horrible winter. Oh, it's awful. It's The political landscape oh. hit me so hard. There's, there's nothing good. But <laughs> for me, if I just like run and eat enough kale, then... I feel fine. Uh, it's the kale. It's the kale. kale. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I just, if you don't like kale, learn to like it. You might not be sad. Learn anymore. to love it. Although a lot of people really just don't like it. It's pretty good. Uh, what's your tip? What do you? How do you in- inhale your kale? You eat it until you start liking it. But are you smoothing it? Are you salad? You can put it in smoothie. Listen, if you don't like kale and you need to get it in your body. Uh, you you stop, won't even taste it in a smoothie. Stop by Smoothie King. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to get sponsored. <laughs> stop. Uh, <laughs> Smoothie King and Micah E. Wood and Match Maiden, whatever. The manager Kale now heaven. knows my name for some reason. <laughs> and whenever I go in there, she's like, Micah, what are you having? And I'm like, we're not there yet. <laughs> but no, you have an ice cream. So, yeah. yeah. Smoothie's my next goal. Okay. I'm going to get a smoothie. First the charm. Smoothie King ice cream. sponsorship coming 2020. <laughs> I will have the Micah E. Wood Kale special, please. Mm-hmm. It's just kale. Ew. Not even blended. Uh, just, a, just a cup of kale. I, the only way I've ever discovered that I like kale is when it's like olive oil on a sheet until it's all crispy. Mm. Those, that's a good kale snack. Kale chips. Yes, those are, mm. that's a good snack I'll get behind. You probably put a lot of salt on it though, right? No, I'm not really a salty person. I okay, don't like well salt. Then, you know, then go for it. <laughs> the Listen, olive oil holds up. The point up. is. <laughs> yes. Why are we talking about that? <laughs> point is, eat what makes you happy. Yes. Focus on your health. Whether Smile. it's whether it's mental health or physical health, whatever makes you happy. Rock out, you know. Make new albums. Yeah, so there's sad things on the record, but in general, like it's a lot of self reflection, and um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. So, who were some of your influences? Um, that's hard, but uh, I would say <laughs> uh, I grew up on a lot of Outkast, Kanye yes. West. Yeah. Uh, my mom used to listen to Prince and Earth, Wind and Fire. Um, I, I like then, your mom. Yeah, she's great. I had to discover old white dudes playing guitars myself because my parents didn't listen to that. So then I got into Johnny Cash. I love like older Johnny Cash when he was near death. The sadder, <laughs> the more the deep nine inch nails voice. Johnny Cash. Yeah, exactly. exactly. The deeper, the more decrepit Johnny Cash. Ooh, does it for me. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, like I obviously like the Beatles, but definitely more psychedelic but i like all of them there's some on this record there's some like hints of beach boys influence uh Mm. some harmonies there's um a lot of modern pop influence a lot of hip-hop phrasing but then made into pop songs um but i listen to a lot of indie rock and rap honestly yeah and a little bit of r&b i'm with you yeah i like it all sounds good everyone should go to the show tonight and should get this um, let's talk for a minute about Creative Alliance. Yeah. Tell people how you're associated. Yeah. So, uh, I'm a marketing and design associate. So that's how I'm associated. That's how. Yeah, exactly. Little wordplay there. Yeah. So I do marketing and design over at Creative Alliance. I love it dearly. It's a great place and it's insane how many good shows there are there. Uh, if anything, there's too many. It is hard to go home, but luckily I have a very cute dog to go home to. So it gets me there. If I did not have a dog, I might li- just live there. Just too many good shows. Um, well, but you do I do have a musical career to focus on as well. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I could just find time, you know? I'm doing it now. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so if you are looking for a plan this weekend and either you want two concerts to go to or you're feeling sleepy today, you know, Fridays are hard. Well, don't, I understand. No, no, no. You know, don't don't skip the show tonight. You don't can skip do both. the show tonight. You can do both. You're right. You can do both. You know Come what? on, party people. I'm going to be confident. Go to both. Go to both. Um, Saturday it, at Creative Lions is a night of these gospel masters. Uh, they're from Richmond, Virginia. They're a family gospel group uh, called the Ingramettes. It is something like you have never seen before. They have no recorded albums. You can find like YouTube's videos of them. They're insane. Some of the powerhouse vocals you'll see in front of an 
incredible band, and they are just belting. And like, how many of them are there? There's like at least four or five or six. That's super like awesome. Lead all related. All related. Sisters, all women. cousins, all women. I love that. Definitely see it. So check that out at Creative Alliance tomorrow night. Tomorrow so, night. So you know it is Preakness weekend. Do you is that does that mean anything to you? Uh Super City are playing Preakness oh, good. before my show tonight. Uh, they're doing a Oh, they're doing the one of the events? Yeah. Oh nice. So they're playing something with at Preakness uh tonight, I believe from five to six. So if you're at Preakness, check out uh, my boys. Super yeah, City. Super City. See them twice in one day. I encourage it. That's like a Guinness World Record kind of activity right there. Do it. Um, so summer, it's summer almost. It's almost summer. We're almost there. What we summer? We summer. Made we made it through the seasonal depressive disorder. Um, summer plans. Summer vacation. What's happening? Summer reading. Do you read? Mm, I don't know how to read. No. <laughs> uh, no, I like to read long form articles online because I'm boring. Um, yeah, I. Um, well, I'm going on a little tour. Oh, nice. Um, on Wednesday, I'm going to then Philly and then Pittsburgh. Wow, I love Pittsburgh. And then, where I've never been. And then You're going to um, love it. I didn't even know how to spell it correctly, and now I do. It's hard. It's a hard yeah, one. Yeah, there's like that H in that there. That H is like so so off. silent. And it's so silent. <laughs> Pit- Pittsburgh. So where, do you know where you're playing? Uh, they're like mostly house shows. I'm okay. going to post on my Instagram on Monday okay. with like all the different shows. They're like house shows and little venues. And then I'm going to Detroit, Grand Rapids, and Cincinnati, and then coming home. That's a super great tour. Yeah, a one weeker. That sounds I'm like fun. I'm touring with Albert Bagman. This guy is awesome. He wears a bag on his head. That's cool. He has stitched <laughs> a what kind of looks like a scary bag, and then he plays like these super sad, kind of like haunted sounding songs. Does he have eyes cut out? Or? Uh, they're like little sewn on like. Buttons. Oh, so he, but he can't see out of the bag. I think he has like he can see under the buttons. Ah, ah, ah. But it's awesome. And it, you've got this super snazzy yeah, one so, piece. So we'll just be styling it up. You guys are going to look so good on two that piece tour. in a pod. I'm so I'm excited for you. Me and the bag. Man. What's what is your website so people can find uh, this? My out. website is micaewood.com. Okay. You can see my photography, my music. All of it. You're you're all over the place. You Oof. do stuff. You yeah. do lots of stuff. I do stuff. And you got a new album. Is yeah. what's what's next musically after um, the tour? I have um, two songs that I've kind of been sitting on that I might release in like October. That kind of feel more like wintry songs. Okay. Um, okay. And then I'm just gonna write for. A bu- I like to write between albums for other people so I can learn from them. And give them good songs, but learn from them. <laughs> um, so I've been writing a little bit with uh, this guy, Hunter Hooligan, and Out Calls. So mm-hmm. I'll probably be like working with them some more. Good. Um, if anyone wants to work, let me know. I like it. All right. So you are going to come back and see us next, yeah. probably in October, when you're yeah. working on your sad songs. And, um, <laughs> I didn't say they were sad. I just said they were winter. <laughs> well, we're going to be they're getting sad. ready for the they're next sad. round of <laughs> seasonal affective disorder yeah. coming at us. Yeah. So again, tell everyone tonight. What's, what's tonight's deal? Tell tonight. Everyone. Charmery Ice Cream Factory inside the Union Collective, 9 p.m., $10 for the ticket. It comes with a scoop of whatever ice cream you want, but I will have or, my own flavor. Now, self-titled. It's self-titled. I will be playing with my live band, which usually I play solo, so this is a magical thing. We've been practicing just for this night. Uh, Super City will be playing. Out Calls will be playing. Al Rogers Jr. and DJ Lockspice. And my brother will be in town from New York. Nice. He has digitized a bunch of VHS that I have never seen. <gasps> and while I'll be performing, he'll be playing specifically oh. curated kid videos of me that I have not seen. That's going to be hysterical. And they'll be playing behind me without me seeing them. That's totally it's cool. It's called trust. Something you can have <laughs> with your close brother. It's nice that you've got a brother you believe can do that for right? you. <laughs> you know? It's going to be traumatizing. But good, enjoy it's, that. It's a talent. Um, thank you for coming in today. Yeah, no problem. And Appreciate if you guys it. can't get a copy of C or... Ha- don't have a way to get to it it is on spotify apple music title itunes YouTube, do it people YouTube. or buy this because it's less yeah, than a dollar a buy song. cd it is at Sa- soundgarden soundgarden yeah. come on you have been watching jay moore's weekend agenda find more events at jaymorelivingcom slash events join me next week on may 24th when my guest is emma snyder of the ivy bookshop she does Ooh, read she does read we're gonna yeah. talk about some juicy summer reading yay Ooh, Creative Alliance has an event with them coming up. Oh, they do? What is it? Yeah, it's a film event um, for... Okay, we'll, mm-hmm. we'll figure that out. We'll, yeah. we'll tell you guys here. It's part of the Reels and Reads series. Oh, I you know, like, like the sound of this. and books. 
Is it like the same, like the, you're watching well, movies? Well, this movie is a documentary about an author. Oh, okay. And so they'll be selling the books at the Creative Alliance and the whole thing. This is a really cool idea. We like Ivy. Shout out to Ivy. Uh, we totally like Ivy. All right. Thank you, Micah E. Wood, joining us today. It's always fun to have you. Support local music. Thanks Support local me. ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.